This is John for John Just Beating Justin's World of Softball. I'm here at the, at the ballpark in Rosemont with Coach Stu. Mike Stu, well, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? Good. Listen, let's, let's get the heavier stuff out of the way first. Um, the, the dome. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Yes, yes, definitely. Any word on, on the future of that, when it might get back together, or what might happen with the programs that are going on there? Um, it'll be probably a couple of weeks before we have a, a much better idea, but you know, we're looking at probably anywhere from six to um, three to six months, depending on timeline of getting stuff, you know, taken care of on the insurance side, things like that. So, but like you said, you know, the main thing was no one was in there, no one was hurt, so, you know, everything else is able to get replaced and, and you know, just depending on timeline now. Now, were there any programs that are going on there that have to be shifted elsewhere? Or? Um, you know, a lot of our fall schedule and early winter schedule is um, we're going to be canceling those programs and tournaments. So, you know, just trying to give teams enough notice to go get in another tournament or find something else to do here that weekend. Sure. Okay, on to better stuff. Yeah. The, the band looks like second place. Mm -hmm. Heading into the playoffs, what are your thoughts on the season so far? Um, we've had a good run this season. You know, there's a few games I felt that we probably let slip away, whether it was, uh, you know, just not pushing enough runs across the board when we had opportunities early, or maybe a couple of pitches that we made some mistakes on late. Um, and those are games that, you know, when you finish second to the pride, um, if we do end up in that spot, that's something you look back on and say, you know, one or two plays here or there probably changes things and maybe we end up in first, but um, we still got a few games to go and hopefully we can get a few more wins to finish out the season. There's a chance at least you finish strong and yeah. Definitely. What would you say were some of the, and we asked Coach Roman earlier, what would you say were some of the more positive surprises of the season? Um, it, for me as a uh, coach, it's always uh, fun to watch our rookies and how they progress, um, how they handle some of the failure, you know, a lot of them they're not in the lineup for the first time in their life, so you know, some of them you really see mature and be able to handle that and go about their business of taking care of their work and, and the day-to-day -day stuff that they need so when their name isn't in the lineup, um, they're ready to go. I think Megan Blank's a, a great example of someone who's come in, um, spent some extra time with us at first base, and I mean, it's shown she's made a huge um, key to our defense in the infield. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, um, you've been with the team a long time, and, and I've only been around here for the last two or three seasons. It seemed like there was a lot more of a shuffling of, of younger players in and experience. Is, is that accurate, do you think? Or? Yeah, and I think that's maybe a reflection on me as a coach. I think um, one of the things I preach to the girls in the team is you always need to be ready for whatever opportunity. Um, I try and work with those that were looking at other positions. We've been working at NAT, you know, in left field for about three weeks now and she's just been out there for a couple games in the last week or so. So, you know, it's not just something that's usually random unless, you know, there's a freak injury or something like that. But um, we try and prepare players for different spots and how we can um, tweak lineups and adjust lineups to maybe get more bats in or to be better defensively late in the games. Uh, and, and I think that they've really um, grown and adjusted with how I, I tend to write lineups that way. And over the last... In 10 days or so, have you ever seen a pitching performance like Monica Abbott has, has pulled off in the last week or so? You know, a, a couple of people were texting me about that and um, just sending me some messages and I said, you know, the only thing that's really reminiscent is, you know, I've seen her have a couple week stretch like that. I've had, you know, when I coached Cat the first season, she had a stretch like that. Um, but for as long as the stretch has been, it's really fun to watch her go out and, you know, whether or not it continues down the stretch, it's just fun to see her prepare day to day and how she's handled it um, composure-wise, even when she's had things, you know, like yesterday, the drop fly ball, and she just goes back out there about her business and finds a way to get the job done. And, you know, sometimes you get pitchers that have that situation, lose a perfect game that way, and then next thing you know, it's three to three. So, you know, she's done a great job of putting in the work and um, being ready to go whenever we call her number. Certainly, and hopefully she'll continue that through the playoffs into the championship. I hope so. Coach, appreciate your time. We wish you luck in the rest of the season and in the playoffs. And uh, thank you for a great season, my friend. Thank you. Thanks.